Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at VPC endpoints. VPC endpoint enables you to privately connect your VPC to supported AWS services and VPC endpoint services, without requiring an internet gateway, a NAT device, or a virtual private gateway. Instances in your VPC do not require public IP addresses to communicate with resources in the service. Traffic between your VPC and the other service does not leave the Amazon network. Endpoints are virtual devices. They are horizontally scaled, redundant, and highly available VPC components. They allow communication between instances in your VPC and services, without imposing availability risks or bandwidth constraints on your network traffic. There are two types of VPC endpoints, interface endpoints and gateway endpoints. An interface endpoint is an elastic network interface or ENI with a private IP address, from the IP address range of your subnet that serves as an entry point for traffic destined to supported services. These services include some AWS services, endpoint services, and supported partner services in AWS Marketplace. Interface endpoints are powered by AWS Private Link, a technology that enables you to privately access services by using private IP addresses. AWS Private Link restricts all network traffic between your VPC and services to the Amazon network. Services cannot initiate requests to resources in your VPC through the endpoint. An endpoint only returns responses to traffic that is initiated from resources in your VPC. An endpoint network interface is a requester-managed network interface that an AWS service creates in your VPC. This is a special type of elastic network interface or ENI created and managed by AWS services. The endpoint network interface enables you to use other resources and services, such as AWS private link services. When you create the interface VPC endpoint and choose the subnet for the endpoint, AWS creates an endpoint network interface in the subnet. The endpoint network interface has a private IP address, from the IP address range of your subnet, that serves as an entry point for traffic destined to a supported service. When you create an interface VPC endpoint, AWS generates endpoint-specific DNS hostname that you can use to communicate with the service. The endpoint hostname start with the VPC endpoint ID, service name, AWS region, and AmazonAWS.com. For AWS services and AWS Marketplace Partner Services, the private DNS option is enabled by default. It associates a private hosted zone with your VPC. The private hosted zone contains a record set for the default DNS name of the service that resolves to the private IP addresses of the endpoint network interfaces in your VPC. This enables you to make requests to the service using its default DNS hostname, instead of the endpoint-specific DNS hostnames. If your existing applications make requests to an AWS service using the default DNS name, they can continue to make requests through the interface endpoint without requiring any configuration changes. This is a more flexible approach for your applications, as you don't need to update the application logic when you update the interface endpoint. In this diagram, you have a public subnet 1 and private subnet 2. There is an interface endpoint for Amazon Kinesis data streams and an endpoint network interface in subnet 2. When the private DNS for interface endpoint is disabled, instances in either subnet can send requests to Kinesis through the interface endpoint using an endpoint specific DNS hostname. Instances in subnet 1 can access Kinesis over public IP address space in the AWS region using its default DNS name. When the private DNS for interface endpoint is enabled, instances in either subnet can send requests to Kinesis through the interface endpoint using either the default DNS hostname or the endpoint specific DNS hostname. If your existing applications make requests to an AWS service using the default DNS name, they can continue to make requests through the interface endpoint without any changes. You can use private link with endpoint services, supported services in AWS Marketplace, and AWS services that are integrated with private link. The endpoint service is also called private link powered service. Endpoint services are services hosted by other AWS accounts. You can create your own application in your VPC and configure it as an endpoint service. Other AWS principals can create a connection from their VPC to your application using an interface VPC endpoint. When you sell your service in AWS Marketplace, you can also offer customers to access your service using an interface VPC endpoint over private link. 
These services include API Gateway, Auto Scaling, CloudWatch, Amazon EMR, AWS Glue, Amazon Kinesis, SageMaker, Amazon RDS, AWS KMS, Amazon SQS and more. A gateway endpoint is a gateway that you specify as a target for a route in your route table for traffic destined to a supported AWS service. Only Amazon S3 and DynamoDB are supported by gateway endpoint. You can create multiple endpoints in a single VPC to multiple services. You can also create multiple endpoints for a single service and use different route tables to enforce different access policies from different subnets to the same service. When you create or modify a gateway endpoint, you specify the VPC route tables that are used to access the service via the gateway endpoint. A route is automatically added to each of the route tables with a destination that specifies the AWS prefix list ID of the service and a target with the endpoint ID. The AWS prefix list ID logically represents the range of public IP addresses used by the service. All instances in subnets associated with the specified route tables automatically use the endpoint to access the service. Subnets that are not associated with the specified route tables don't use the endpoint. This enables you to keep resources in other subnets separate from your endpoint. You can have multiple endpoint routes to different services in a route table and have multiple endpoint routes to the same service in different route tables. But you cannot have multiple endpoint routes to the same service in a single route table. For example, if you create two endpoints to Amazon S3 in your VPC, you cannot create endpoint routes for both endpoints in the same route table. AWS uses the most specific route that matches the traffic to determine how to route the traffic. If you have an existing route in your route table for all internet traffic that points to an internet gateway, the endpoint route takes precedence for all traffic destined for the service because the IP address range that prefix list represents for the service is more specific than the all zero address. When you create an endpoint, you can attach an endpoint policy to it that controls access to the service to which you are connecting. Endpoint policies must be written in JSON format. Not all services support endpoint policies. A VPC endpoint policy is an IAM resource policy that you attach to an endpoint when you create or modify the endpoint. If you do not attach a policy when you create an endpoint, AWS attaches a default policy that allows full access to the service. If a service does not support endpoint policies, the endpoint allows full access to the service. An endpoint policy does not override or replace IAM user policies or service specific policies, such as S3 bucket policies. It is a separate policy for controlling access from the endpoint to the specified service. You cannot attach more than one policy to an endpoint. However, you can modify the policy at any time. If you do modify a policy, it can take a few minutes for the changes to take effect. In this episode, we've learned VPC endpoints. A VPC endpoint enables you to privately connect your VPC to supported AWS services and VPC endpoint services without requiring an internet gateway, NAT device, or virtual private gateway. Instances in your VPC do not require public IP addresses to communicate with resources in the service. Traffic between your VPC and the other service does not leave the Amazon network. There are two types of VPC endpoints, interface endpoints and gateway endpoints. An interface endpoint is an ENI with a private IP address that serves as an entry point for traffic destined to a supported service powered by AWS private link. A gateway endpoint is a gateway that you specify as a target in your route table for traffic destined to a supported AWS service. Only Amazon S3 and DynamoDB are supported by gateway endpoint. Okay, that's all for VPC endpoints. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning.